Hello guys, uh, welcome to my adorn where we create beauty on the go. Uh, today I want to talk about this LED mask. It's uh, becoming very, very popular um, and I myself, I absolutely love it. Um, as you know, I love all of our gadgets. Um, now, I want to talk, give you a little bit of theory on this mask because it it's not just an LED, this mask is actually combined with microcurrent, so it makes it even better uh, for our treatments. And it's definitely two in one. In addition to that, it has um, the mask for the face, and it also has a little extension to it for the neck and even some decollete, depending on how long the mask is, okay? Now, um, so let's talk a little bit about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over just so you can see where all the LED lights are. And all of these are, this is what the mask actually sits on. And um, these are your micro microcurrent probes. Okay. Now, this mask has seven LED lights, seven LED lights. Um, each light has a different um, length uh, where it penetrates into the skin and I'll go over the lights real quick it um, uh, I'll look at my notes right here just because I don't remember all the wavelength here so we have red and red has 630 nanometers we know that red is great for collagen production stimulates metabolism cell metabolism it's great for tightening of the skin so that's definitely your anti-aging light. Next one is blue, also very popular. Almost all LED lights have red and blue. And blue we know is good for um, inflammation, for any redness, um, acne, uh, rosacea. So any skin that is going through an inflammation um, cascade. Now the blue light has 470 nanometers. And uh, we talked about the uh, properties of it and what it does. The next light is green. Green light, um, it's interesting because every manufacturer talks about green light in different ways. Um, I know that green light is very good for a couple of things. It's actually great green for oxygen promotion. So it's great for that asphyxiated skin or smokers. Um, it's also very good for uh, pigmentation. So your green and yellow lights are usually talked about as a pigmentation light um, or um, asphyxiated skin. So anything that promotes oxygen for pigmentation. Okay. Now your next slide. Now on the green one, it's 520 nanometers, and the yellow one also. For the purple light. Um, it's actually a combination of red and blue just so you know so you get a combination of both of red and blue light and with red and blue again uh, we're talking about for both because it promotes collagen stimulation and all of that um, together they're very good for skin tissue repair and also scarring okay so your purple light is good for scarring like acne scars for example and uh, this uh, repair of the skin all right now the next slide you have is white okay white um, and purple also have 520 nanometers in them um, now white light a white light is um, uh, also somewhat for pigmentation but more just for stimulating metabolism, activating things in the skin. It's very, um, it's very active. So technically your white light, white uh, light you can use for uh, different things. What I do usually in my treatments, I um, switch the lights. And I'm gonna show you how I do it and the time increments that I, that I use for each light. But um, uh, white light is also 500, no, white light is actually on the 470 nanometers. And you also have K9 light. And that one is uh, for cell energy, okay, stimulating, again, 
470 nanometers. Um, it's, uh, it increases metabolism. It kind of kind of promotes, activates the skin, the sluggish skin. Okay, so if you have someone on the table who is kind of uh, whose skin is kind of sluggish, you know, it's it needs uh, movement. You know, K um, K9 is definitely your light. So those are the lights that are uh, present in this mask, and the microcurrent. Microcurrent goes from one to nine. Um, I honestly have to tell you that I couldn't go past three um, so far. Uh, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. And one thing that I'm gonna uh, kind of warn you on the microcurrent here, and that's just my experience with it, if you are ready to turn the microcurrent up, then slightly lift the mask because I've noticed that it gives like a slight shocking effect if you go ahead and um, raise the microcurrent without lifting. Not on everybody, but on those uh, people that drink a good amount of water, you know, and the skin is really moist, then in that case, uh, you know, they really, they feel it. So when you raise the microcurrent, it shocks them a little bit. Um, you know, or, you know, sometimes uh, metal fillings in, in the mouth, even though I know it is a contraindication, but if you have one or two, it's okay. So if you do use a microcurrent, try and on those people, try to raise it up before you actually increase the intensity on it. Now, um, these are like the, one of the things that I really like about this is that it's very easy to operate. So I'm going to show you on let me just go ahead and maybe turn it this way so you guys can can see it uh, so we begin with um uh with the light so color switch is right here okay and all you have to do is just keep you know clicking one is red then you have you know c stands for color then you have um blue green your purple this is your um, white and blue then you have combinations which which I really love is that you have combination of different lights here so you can combine so you really don't have to um, switch from one to another unless you want to so here's where you can actually as you continue to uh, click it will actually start switching for you okay this is another option which i absolutely love like i said so you don't have to all you have to do is while the client while the mask is on the client okay and neck and face work simultaneously at the same time now all you have to do is just click for the desired light okay as you're clicking you see now it's off you can just and it doesn't bother a client they can't see anything they have goggles on uh they or or ipad something to protect their light because the light is very close to the eyes so you definitely need to need protection for their eyes um so you just flick away just flick to desired light sometimes what i do which i love to do at first i didn't do it but now i i i always do is uh my time is usually about um, anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes depending on how much time you set for LED unless they're coming for your 30 minute LED treatment manufacturer recommended that you don't pass <clears throat> 30 minute uh, uh, time on the LED because then it becomes uh, too much it's too much stimulation for the skin so my timing usually 15 20 minutes and in that time i can do depending on what's going on with their skin and the condition let's say if there's inflammation then my blue light stays on the skin for the longest okay and then what i do if i'm dealing with let's say inflammation and maybe aging so what i do is i keep you know the longer light on the longer time is for dedicated for blue light and then lesser time for red light okay and then at the very end, when I have about five minutes, I'll go ahead and uh, choose, um, select an option where all the lights are switching, okay? And give it about five minutes for that option to go through, all right? Now, um, in addition to that, what it does have 
any light can be on still or flicking okay or flashing so you have a flicker option on here and you can go ahead this is one then it goes from very frequent to less frequent to even less frequent and then and then it stops there's one more there you go and then it stops and then it just still also you have brightness on it so you can actually increase the brightness and which which i absolutely love because on some skin you don't have to go as bright you just want to give it a little bit but for the longer time you just want to give it a little bit of light um and for some that you that really need some deep led uh then you need to turn it all the way all the way up i also noticed that some people even with goggles um or um uh protective wear they still uh feel it bothers them the led light bothers them especially when you turn it all the way up so you should just kind of be cautious of that and uh put something extra maybe an extra protection for their eyes so they can see the light uh, or just turn it down a little bit so it's not too strong now microcurrent part of it has its own separate um control it's called microelectronics on here so it's right on top um on the remote control and it actually like i said it goes i start from the very very zero or from one okay and if i need to again if this is my treatment where it's a treatment where i charge my client for a combination of led and microcurrent then of course i'm gonna throughout the, my 20 or 30 minutes i will go ahead and play with the um with microcurrent also and increase the treatment now it doesn't mean that you cannot um, additionally add the um, microcurrent machine the actual machine and, and use a microcurrent machine uh, as a microcurrent treatment you can do that also uh, but this is just kind of an overall re-education of the muscle you know you get let me see one two three four five six you have six um uh, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. You have seven probes, okay? You have seven microcurrent probes, and they're all around the skin, so they give you that muscle workout, you know, throughout the whole time. So that's kind of your overall uh, microcurrent treatment. You can do it at the end of the actual microcurrent treatment or prior to. You can do the LED mask with microcurrent first and then the microcurrent treatment. Uh, one of you asked me how how do you clean this so as you can see this is uh, plastic um, and um, metal so not none of it is porous but you can definitely tell that it should not be immersed in water uh, or any liquid uh, this is enough is just to wipe it like I use my caviside wipes you know or you can wipe it with alcohol first then caviside uh, then just wipe it with um, wet cotton or wet paper towel um, on top of it and that's it um, not much maintenance is needed it also has a little elastic strap here okay and you'll find it that you will use this uh, just so you know it doesn't slip sometimes people fall asleep and their head turns so this gives you a secure um, sit in of the mask um, so i think i kind of covered everything let me just take a look at my nose just to see if i need to tell you anything else um of course on the warning side um just make sure that this you know the connection all the um cords are away from the client's face when you're working on it right now this is a new mask so i haven't unstrapped this but um, you know your remote control can stay away from from a client but all the cords should also not touch the client's um, client's skin uh, body or face and uh, basically I think that um, that covers it I think we went through everything on the LED theory um, our next video will be coming with the actual um, uh, demonstration of how to use it so stay tuned talk to you soon